Hey, David, just curious, your uh, your emotions this morning as, as obviously change comes into to the, the building there for you guys. Uh, yeah, for me personally, it's, it's, it's kind of it's pretty emotional for me just because, um, you know, I'm just a kid from Cincinnati who, um, you know, didn't have many shots coming out of high school and always being an underdog. And, you know, Coach Campbell and Coach Lou taking a sh chance on me going to Iowa State. And then, you know, coming out of the draft, I'm getting passed up by a lot of teams and I'm not thinking what's going to happen, not, not knowing what's going to happen next to me. And, you know, Pace and, and Nagy, they took a chance on me. They took a, they took a chance on a, kid, a poor kid from Cincinnati who people looked at as if he wasn't going to be good enough to even get a chance to play. And um, that's why it's emotional for me because, um, you know, they, they stuck their neck out on the line for me and I appreciate them for that. So, um, uh, just sitting away to see what's going to happen next. Have you had a chance to privately talk to Matt? I mean, just one-on-one, -on -one or, or was it all just in the group meeting a few minutes ago? Uh, I've talked to him one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. Me and him talked together. Um, yeah. What were the emotions of that? It seems like that, that probably was a deep conversation between the two of you, knowing how close you've been. Yeah, definitely. Um, me and Coach Nagy built a, uh, a great relationship um, together. Um, while while we were here, like I said, they took a chance on me, and um, I come in and I appreciate them for that. But um, since I stepped foot in here, they showed me nothing but love, um, and I appreciate them for that. It's unfortunate what happened, um, but at the same time, you understand this is a, a result driven um, league, and we want to kind of you know do what we got to do so we can handle business. Next question, Mark Grody. Hi, David. Do you think in your mind or why do you think in your mind this happened? Why did Matt Nagy and Ryan Pace lose their jobs? Um, I don't make those decisions, honestly. Um, that's not up to me to decide or for me to, to speak upon. So I kind of just leave it where it is and just kind of come to work every day and do my job and only my job. Next question, Joe Lewis. Yeah, David, you talked to us all season about the leadership role that you are in and having to deal with such an emotional transition, you know, and looking down the line to whoever is next. How have you interacted with players since then? And how do you, you know, keep them uplifted during such a, you know, a difficult time for you all? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, it's definitely going to be difficult not knowing what's going to happen. I mean, I mean, I, I, I guess you can say everyone fears um, the lack of knowledge or not knowing anything or not knowing what's to come. Um, so my thing is just being able to be who I am and being sure I can just keep the, the guys who are here, you know, together and, you know, continue those relationships for the guys who won't be here because, you know, it's much more beyond football than, uh, you know, just football, um, just relationships that you build while you're here with new people, um, that you form over the year. And, you know, if, as everyone begins to go their separate ways and the guys that come back, you just got to cherish those moments and those relationships. Next question, Alex Shapiro. Hi, David. Obviously, you've grown a lot as a player and also a leader in the locker room this year. I'm just wondering, how did Matt or Ryan help you get to that spot? Is there anything that they did to help you grow in those, in those ways? Uh, like I said, they gave me a chance. That's all I really needed. Um, was an opportunity and, you know, a chance to show, showcase what I can be um, on the field and off the field. Uh, being able to step into that leadership role that I know I'm capable of um, stepping in and, and growing into. But um, they gave me uh, – that was enough for me. Um, so I, I just – since I had the opportunity, I just try to take it and run with it. And then one more if I could. Sorry. Um, as a leader on this team, where do you want this offense to go moving forward? How do you want it to evolve so that it can it can get better? Um, that's some reevaluate waiting I want to do for myself. Um, you know, as the time uh, where we take some time off in the off season where I want to focus, but I obviously want to be able to to be a a powerful powerful uh, offense and be able to show the team that we are capable of being a top tier offense in this league because we have all the right pieces. We just got to be able to use them properly. All right, great. Thanks so much, David. Yeah. Next question, Pat Finley. David, what what traits, uh, be it a personality trait or otherwise, would you like to see in, in whoever they hire? Um, I'm not asking you to name names, but I, I'm curious if, if there's a kind of coach that you think the team would react. Oh, uh, I mean, I guess the next, you know, it's still pretty raw and, and new for me. Uh, 
I understand it's a business with how, you know, the coaches exchange go, how they let people go and how new people come in. But um, I'm still kind of uh, taking it all in, I guess you could say. So um, I really don't have much any of anything to say about that. I just, you know, want to take it all in and take it one step at a time and see what's next. Two more. Next question, Nick Moriano. Hey, David, even though there were tough moves that were obviously just made, do you think they were the necessary ones for, like you were saying, to have a top-tier offense moving forward? Were these the necessary moves that need to be made? Uh, like I said, that's that's not that's above my pay grade. Um, I'm just here to play football and be the best teammate and best player that I can be for, for my teammates and for this organization. Um, so I got, that's, that's not a question that I can answer. I'm sorry. Last question, Dan Reeder. David, there's obviously going to be a lot of uncertainty in the next couple of weeks as, as all these pieces, you know, fall in where they may. How will you go about keeping track of things? Will you unplug? Will you be uh, on a daily search for info? How will you personally go about monitoring everything? You said me being like as far as info on what exactly? Like me personally or like? No, just trying to figure out, you know, who, who's going to be your next general manager? Who's going to be your next coach? Who's going to be the coordinator? Who's going to be, you know, there's a lot of dominoes that will will fall before the month is over. I mean, yeah, it's just, you just take it one day, step at a time. I'm, I cannot control the future. Future, I don't hold the future, nor do I know the answers to what's next. Um, you know, I'm just going to take it one day at a time, one step at a time, and, you know, just let it be what it's going to be. Um, but I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to work regardless, so it don't really matter. And, and then you, you express confidence that all the right pieces are there. What gives you confidence in the talent that you have assembled offensively? that this can become the high powered offense that you desire? Because I've been here for three years. Um, and this is probably the best pieces we've had uh, up to this point. <laughs> so that's, you know, the, the most um, value answer you can give for me because I've seen it every day. Um, you know, it's unfortunate what our record looked like. It's unfortunate how it's, it's been, but when you look at all the games, it was close. Um, and we didn't close it out. You know, that's on us. That's on me as a as a leader and as an individual to, to be able to get my guys in my offense to say, look, it's time for us to go handle business. That's on me. And I take take full onus on that. You know, that's a part of me being who I am. I'm big on accountability and I'm accountable for that. Not being a leader that I need to be when I need to be that. But am I going to grow and I'm going to be and I'm going to, you know, turn it to who I'm supposed to be, of course. And I say hell yeah to that because I know who I am. I know what I'm capable of doing. 